During this coronavirus time, all of us know that the central government as well as state government are doing their best to control this virus. But instead of just relying on the governments, the citizens of Pune have come a step forward and done something good, something unique. What is that and how are they fighting with this coronavirus pandemic? Let's talk to Sudhir Mehta sir, the coordinator of Pune platform for COVID response. Yes sir, please explain. Good evening. We started the Pune platform for COVID response in March of last year when we first realized that this pandemic needs all citizens to come together. So this is a unique experiment where we are comprised of members of industry, all leading hospitals in the city, local and civic administration, all the NGOs in the city as well as all the scientists and academics. And we have been working for the last 14 months to increase healthcare capacity in Pune. You will be happy to note that through the efforts, collective efforts of Pune city, we now have enough bed, actually the same bed capacity as Bombay or uh, Delhi has despite the fact that we do not have so many government hospitals and the private healthcare capa uh, capacity of the city has been increased by a factor of 4 to 5 in the last one year. Pune is having around 22,000 beds I suppose. Yes and more importantly we have about 1500 ventilators and another 3 to 4000 oxygen beds which are very very important. And in fact, this is amongst the highest in the country. And how did this idea of getting more oxygen generation plants crop up in your mind? Uh, the difference between the first and the second wave is that one is the number of cases are going up exponentially. So if you see today, yesterday India had over 300,000 cases. At the peak of the first wave in India, the cases were much less. And Pune unfortunately has been impacted by both waves. So we quickly realized that we were going to run out of oxygen in terms of the supply situation. Now, just to give you a perspective, Pune, the demand four months ago was 60 tons a day, which today has gone up to 350 tons a day. Now, for no system can work if the demand goes up by 500 percent and this is what is happening in most cities. And to combat that, we realize that we have to take a multi-pronged approach. The government is doing what they are doing and we appreciate their efforts, but at the same time, civic society needs to step in. One, we saw that there is a possibility to install oxygen plants at the hospitals themselves where they can generate their own oxygen. Now, uh, about a week ago, this was pointed out to us by our hospitals. Uh, within a space of about 24 hours, we located the last 16 plants in India which were available for sale. We procured those plants in a space of less than 48 hours and within the next 10 days in a combination of some of these being ordered by the government, some of these being ordered for philanthropy, some of these being ordered by private hospitals. 12 plants will be added in Pune at an overall cost of about 12 crores which will add another 5 to 7 percent to the oxygen capacity of the state. This is the first initiative, but we realized this was not enough. We also need to find oxygen concentrators. Now oxygen concentrators are basically useful in areas where you may not have access to oxygen number one, number two where the supply chains today are running in a very difficult manner because of the availability of cylinders. And in that situation, the oxygen concentrator helps the patients to survive and to get oxygen for a period of time before they go into the hospitals. So given that, we conceptualized a project called Project Vayu and this Mission Vayu basically was to import 4000 oxygen concentrators and 250 ventilators. We then partnered with the Temasek Foundation in Singapore. We spoke to Amazon and they graciously agreed to help us with the, the transportation. We spoke to Air India who agreed to fly it in special planes. We approached the uh, Commerce Ministry to request us to give an exemption on this which incidentally was granted in a space of less than 48 hours for all oxygen and oxygen related Indian products. Within a space of 48 hours. So when India wants to move, it can move at an amazing pace. And the example of this is from the conceptualization of the project to ordering of the material to raising of the funds to getting the first aircrafts in which were flown in by Air India, it took us a space of less than 5 days. Okay. So all of the 4000 oxygen concentrators will be installed in coming few days? They, the target is to install them within the next week. The first consignments have already reached Bombay, they are under clearance and we expect that by tomorrow we will start to deploy them and we expect to complete the complete deployment within the next one week. So you have also mentioned a fortnight ago that the business community, especially 
those under the umbrella of Maratha Chamber of Commerce and Industries and Agriculture that they want to vaccinate whole of Pune. What is that? We have been doing this from day one. Our target was that we wanted to make Pune the city which is completely COVID free. Now, unfortunately, Pune has had the distinction of uh, having the maximum number of cases for the last one year. And uh, our concept here is we want to make this the first COVID death free city in the country. If you see the, by the number of vaccinations, Pune is running number one in amongst the major cities by the percentage of people who are vaccinated. And this is happening because we have a huge promotion program. We are pushing, encouraging all residents to get vaccinated, those who are eligible. And as a result of this, we have more than 600 centers. We have created capacity of 2 lakh vaccines a day. And now our request is we want to have access to 50 lakh vaccines. We don't want them for free. We are willing that industry will come forward. Those who are above the poverty line can pay for the vaccines. Those below the poverty line, industry will take the responsibility collectively. We want to vaccinate all of Pune and in the next 60 days, we want to bring down the death rate by 90%. And what is the response from the government authorities? What are they saying? Uh, we have got good response. So, for instance, Pune has now crossed 20 lakh vaccinations as of yesterday. Obviously, the number of vaccines available in India or in the world are not what was needed. So, there is a, the, our target is subject to availability. Our request from 1st May when the vaccination program is going to be opened up both to Serum Institute, Bharat Biotech, the state government, the national government is that if 2 lakh vaccines can be made available to us, we undertake to vaccinate all of Pune and we undertake that in 60 days we will make Pune COVID death free. Two lakh on, on a daily basis because this is the calculation based on the uh, population of Pune, the population that we estimate will want to take the uh, vaccine, those who have already been vaccinated. And we do believe that once we reach this critical mass, we will become, for instance, the example of Israel, which has become one of the first countries in the world to have COVID deaths become very, very low. We believe that Pune city can replicate the same example. Uh, fortunately, we have all of the city behind it. It's not just business community. It is the trading community. It's the agriculture community. It is everybody in the city. So far to date, over the last one year, the impact of our Pune platform has been more than 200 crores of support that we have provided to Pune city for its COVID pandemic efforts. So this was Sudhir Mehta, the coordinator of Pune platform for COVID response, a unique step that has been shown by the people of Pune, which whole of India, especially the private community, the citizens of India, just not relying on government, they should come forward and do something for the society. With Kamal Gopal Harman, this concept is taken in Pune. Point.